Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Grant Brogy from The Strength Co. And today, you're probably asking, why are you holding a fork? Because today, we're gonna eat. I'm gonna review Stan Efferding's Vertical Diet. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. As you know, I'm a fan of Stan Efferding and of his Vertical Diet eating methods. Uh, some of the recipes we'll be showing you on here will be with those principles applied. But as you also know, I think that in order to stay on tune or online with your diet, you need to be prepared. That's why I always keep this or something like this in my freezer at all times. Why? Because there's gonna be days where you're late at the office, there's gonna be days where it's easy to mess up your diet routine, and having something to go to that's a smart and healthy choice will help you stay on track. So, this is Stan Efferding's new vertical diet that he just launched. Let's look and see what it has in it. So this is his Monster Mash Deluxe. He's a genius. Bodybuilders have been eating rice and beef and chicken for years, and he named it Monster Mash, and now everyone wants to eat it, including me. But it's 490 calories. It has 40 grams of protein, 49 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, 3 grams of fiber, 320 milligrams of sodium. Uh, it comes like this in the freezer, and then I move them to the fridge if I want to eat them, although today I did it directly out of the freezer because I forgot to thaw it out, and I'll be honest with you of how it tastes, but you are supposed to thaw it out first. Okay, so straight into the microwave, here's what it looks like after about four and a half minutes at the two minute mark, it was thawed enough to chop it up, and then I went again. Uh, it's potatoes, it's rice, it's beef, it's spinach, it's peppers. Wow, it sounds like a lot of the foods I recommended in our food or diet advice 101 or whatever we called it. One of the things I like about Monster Mash, whether you made it yourself or you bought Mr. Efferding's or wherever you got it, is it's a great place to eat hot sauce. Now, normal Grant would just go ahead and douse this whole thing in hot sauce, but I gotta give Stan an honest, an honest opinion before I cover it in Texas Pete. So, fresh out of the microwave, here's the mix. I mean, it's pretty good. It needs hot sauce, but it's pretty good. And for being in the freezer and for being, you know, uh, healthy and all that stuff, it's pretty tasty. If I had to go Barstool Sports pizza score on it, you know, we'd probably be at like a 6.1 or something, but it's pretty good. With hot sauce, much, much better with the hot sauce. So $9.99, I make nothing off of this. I make nothing off of this. I just want you to keep your diet goals and stay on track. And I think having food readily accessible, you can totally make it yourself, but I just know people and they generally run out of time and they generally find themselves at Taco Bell or McDonald's. That's when they make the poor choice. So $9.99, I think the minimum you have to buy is like 10 or a dozen. Uh, worth giving it a shot if you're interested in sort of that sort of thing. Thanks for watching, hope you liked the video. If you wanna see more food stuff, please comment and we'll see you next time.